If you have the Bible, can you look at the 1 Thessalonians chapter 5? 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16. One Thessalonians chapter five verse sixteen until and twenty eight. One Thessalonians five verse sixteen Be joyful always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Do not put out the spirit fire, do not treat the prophecy with the contempt. Test everything. Hold on to the good. Avoid every kind of evil. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. Brothers, pray for us. Greet all the brothers with a holy kiss. I charge you before the Lord to have this letter uh, lead to all the brothers. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ uh, be with you. Amen. According to the scripture, if you look at the 16, 17, 18, the Bible clearly speaks, this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. What's that? Rejoice. Always. Pray. Continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. Yeah? This is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Can you rejoice always? Yeah, unfortunately, people they rejoice according to their circumstance. If their situation good, they give thanks. Can you give thanks? Can you rejoice? Can you rejoice? And then, actually, if you do these things, and then you are a very, very mature, born again Christian, rejoice always. Rejoice always. I still remember. I remember this. Rejoice always. Pray continually, give thanks in all your circumstances. Since I came to the United Kingdom, and then I moved for 18 times. I have been here over 30 years. 18 times moved from south to north, north to all all over London. And then one day, you know, I supposed to collect the key from the estate agency. They told me. You can wait for me your new house, and uh, we give the key at 6 p.m. I was waiting for him, that guy, wait, 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 until, you know, over 8 or 9 o'clock, over two, 2 and 3 hours, I wait. Oh, he didn't come. At that time, with no mobile phone time. We called uh, the, the office, the office close. They, that guy, the negotiator who are working in the building estate agency, they they didn't come. They cancelled by themselves. So, you know, you know, every time I paid the deposit, everything is in, uh, paid in advance, everything done. But they cancelled by themselves. But what I do? I go back to the old home and I sleep one more night in the old home. And all my things in our 12 set minibus, but uh, Everything in our my wife's things, my thing, clothes, everything, and I parking in front of our our house. I sleep. Uh, my my house is uh, in a first floor flat. I stay there one more night, <coughs> and then I carry the small suitcase because of a passport and some important document. I move out from the mini purse. I stay and then um, sleep. Next day morning I wake up and then I just look from the window. I couldn't find, I couldn't see the our minibus. Minibus is gone. It's very strange. I called my wife, come here. Where is our minibus? Are we parking? Over there. It's gone. Can you imagine? 
Somebody has stolen our mini purse. Our life gone. <laughs> all our shoes, and my clothes, and all kind of things is gone in once. I small case. I think about that. This is life. We came to this world with what? Empty hand. And we go to heaven with what? Empty hand. You know, I didn't die, but I experienced. And then I look at my wife, and she look at me. Do you know the job he proclaimed then? He give and he take away. We still bless the be the name of the Lord. We sing it together. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> give thanks. There's power. Can you give thanks when you lost everything? Can you give thanks? Can you rejoice in all circumstances? Always, this is God, not me. Because of, I know where I came from. I was a worldly man. I was a secular man. You know, when I lose these material things, if I lose, you know, I'm very angry. But praise God. And then um, next day, I I went to the I went to the the estate agency. But God spoke to me. Give the gift. I said, what kind of gift? He God spoke to me by the very nice leather Bible and give to them. I didn't want to do it. But God spoke to me to do it. Thank you, Lord. I went there. I was a policeman. I told you my hope was to beat the people. I know how I beat this kind of people. Because I lost everything. This kind of people, they cancel whatever they like. Even they charge the cancellation charge, two hundred fifty four pound. And then, you know, Satan, Satan, show me how you break the window and punch them, and then over across the, the the police station, you can take them to the police station. Satan, show me. I kick out in Jesus' name, and I came there. I have good news for you. They said, what kind of good news? Jesus is the Lord and Savior. I come here with a Bible. This is a gift for you guys. And they say, oh, no, no, it's okay, man. I say, no, this is my Lord God say to you. You never, ever do it like this. And I lost everything. I explained to them. Somebody stole it all, all, our mini purse, everything gone. They say, oh, sorry, sorry. Anyway, I give thanks. But I need to tell him the truth. Never ever do it again like that. You don't treat the customer like them. Other customer will be very, very angry. But I'm a minister in the church. I come here with a Bible. This is a gift for you. And I give the the Bible to manager. I lift up my hand, close your eyes. I pray in the estate agents. I pray for blessing. I never curse them. Bless them in Jesus' name. Guess what happened? Within two months, uh, they closed down. <laughs> I never asked them to close down the company. Why? You know, sowing the good seed. But God saw that that company is a very, very evil company. God shut down. I heard about the bank drop, and then they shut down. You know, when they sow in the bad seed and they will leap like that. Well, what is my point? Be joyful always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all your circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Verse 19. Do not put out the spirit's fire. Do not cast away the spirit of living God. Unfortunately, people, they cast the fire of the Holy Spirit. How? You're kicking out the spirit of God by your sin. If you commit your sins, the Holy Spirit cannot dwell in your heart continually, depart from your life. Therefore, I urge you, you need to examine your heart. Do you remember uh, Samson? Samson, he committed the sins, but the Bible say he didn't know. Spirit depart from him. 
he didn't know. Samson, he killed 1,000 of Palestine, his enemies, by donkey spawn. He was a powerful man because of the Spirit of God. But when the Spirit of God departed from this man Samson, only flesh left. Most miserable Christian in the world start with the Spirit and finish by flesh. Who is that? King Saul. He received the anointing of God through Prophet Samuel, but he killed himself, suicide. How about uh, Judah? Between the Judah, he starts with the Spirit. He is selected by Jesus, one of the disciples. But he killed himself. He died with the flesh. Do you understand? Samson, he didn't know. Spirit departed from him. But he tried to, when he lose all his hair, when he tried to kill the, all the enemies, not possible. What is what was happening? When Samson, you know, rejected the spirit of Gahal by his sins, he committed the sins, disobeyed God. When the spirit of God departed from church, one of the leader of the nation called the church of Israel, Samson, what was happening? Do you know Palestine? They removed the his two two eyes. He become blind, and then all these people they play with him. It's like a play, like a toy. Can you imagine the judge of Israel when the spirit of the Lord departs from him? He's not just an ordinary man anymore, more worse than ordinary man. And thanks be to God by the grace of God, you know God is a gracious and merciful God, and the spirit of God come back to him. And his hair grow, grow, grow. And uh, his final prayer, he come near to the, to the port. Either your granddaddy or did it. Yeah? Grandpap, something. And then he pray, Oh God, hear my prayer once again. He pushed the pole and then how many people died? I think over 3,000. So many people died. And then, can I ask questions? Where is Samson? Is it heaven and hell? Anybody knows? Heaven. How do you know? Because uh, God asked me to pray. Yeah. If you look at the book of uh, Hebrews chapter 11, there's uh, names written. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Sarah, Moses, David, and Samson is there. Samson's name in book of Hebrews chapter 11, who was a man of faith. Ibta, do you know Ibta? Ibta, promise with Almighty God, if someone welcome me first, I want to give that person or animal sacrifice to you. But who is the one to welcome? His daughter, <laughs> unfortunately, and he came. But his name is also in the, in the Hebrews chapter 11. He is in heaven. When I go to heaven, I'm telling him, your prayer is a little bit foolish prayer. <laughs> Why you pray like that? You know, you can just, uh, if God give victory, I just uh, celebrate together with all my family. That kind of prayer, why speak like that? Well, we have to pray seriously and properly and wisely. And then, anyway, David committed the sins. When David committed the sins, do you know why David was a man of the God's heart? David was a very sensitive man about the Holy Spirit. He knew, he knew, he knew that Spirit of living God departed from him when he came to sins. He begged. Psalm chapter 51, whole chapter he speak about, uh, Do not remove the Spirit of God from me. Oh God, don't take the oh Holy Spirit from my life. He was begging, begging, restore my joy of salvation. Sustain me, the, the willing spirit. Don't remove the Holy Spirit from me. He was begging. That's very, very important. That is why God continually used this man, David. Therefore, you know, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, yeah, verse 19, do not put out the Spirit's fire. How can you kicking out the 
Spirit of living God from us through your sins. Through your sins. Do not commit the sins. And if you commit the sins, oh, asking God, Lord, I'm so sorry. Forgive me. You can pray like David prayed. David prayed, Oh God, I come before you with a broken spirit and contrite heart. God didn't reject the broken spirit and contrite heart. Humble spirit. And then God forgive him. Of course, the way of see is that when other sorry, when uh, uh, Bathsheba and then David committed adultery and they have the baby, the baby died. Baby died. The way of sin is a dead. Verse 20, do not treat the prophecy with the contempt. You know, when you receive the prophecy, you can test, you can examine. Yeah? Do not just reject. Unfortunately, some people, oh, no, 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 like that. Don't, don't do it. This Sunday, Pastor Linda will come. Pastor Linda is a wonderful woman of God. She was born in Jamaica. And then she came to UK. She, she, she has got a good job, manager, and then a good house, four bedroom house, you know, good car, everything beautiful. When she came to our church around the around the ten, 10 years. When she came to our church around 10 years, she went to France, Korea, many countries with me for mission. And then the Holy Spirit gave me prophecy to tell her. And I told her, Sister Linda, your house is not in England. Your home is not in England. She was shocked. Pastor, I stay in UK for over 40 years. My home is not in England. Oh. Sorry, she was uh, unhappy, <laughs> angry. I said, I'm so sorry if I upset you. Can you imagine? Sometimes the prophecies uh, upset the people. You know, I say it to her, It's not me, the Holy Spirit, Spirit of God. She went to Africa together with me, and the Holy Spirit spoke to very clearly. Your home is in Kenya. She married with the Kenyan pastor, she opened the nine churches. Can you imagine? She was an ordinary woman in London, but when she was in Africa, mighty, mighty woman of God. I respect her very much, and thanks to how God using her. She is in here now. She came here two weeks ago, and then she go back to Africa next week. Before she go back to Africa, she come. It's a prophecy. Do you understand? She's a wonderful, wonderful woman of God. Thanks be to God. The prophecy, prophecy is like the the uh, uh, tell us what's going to happen in your future. Do you understand? I know the uh, will of God in heaven in my life personally, even through our church, all of you guys. God promised with me. That is why I came to UK. God wants to bring the revival in the kingdom, in the kingdom in Jesus' name. Amen. How many believe that? I believe that God will bring the revival. You are a, you are a, you know, co-workers. You working together, yeah, for the revival in in, in this nation, United you know, Kingdom, whole Europe. Yeah, prophecy. Test everything. Hold on to to the uh, good. Test every spirit. Actually, every every spirit. We have to be careful. In the last day, you know. You have to be, be careful, test every spirit. Satan try to misleading you, deceive you, even selected one. Satan is a liar, father of all lies. Satan, cheating, killing, destroy. That's the plan of Satan. Yeah, be, be careful. Last week I was preaching on the street. One guy, English guy, his name is Mr. John. He say, Anyong Haseyo. He is speaking Korean. Sarangamnida. Anyong Haseyo, hello. Sarangamnida, I love you. How do you know Korean? Are you a Muni? He said to me. Do you know Muni? Unification Church. Mr. Muni from South Korea. 1956, Mr. Muni, he was an elder in the Presbyterian Church in South Korea. But he became a cult. Mr. Muni is terrible, terrible. And I told this man, John, 
Now you are misleading by Mr. Mooney. He died and his wife is still alive. But I told him, Mr. Mooney is not Messiah. Jesus is the Messiah. He said, no, Mr. Mooney is Messiah, also Jesus is the Messiah. He speak like that. English guy, Mr. John. Terrible, misleading. He said, I I become a you know member of a unification church in 1974. Blah blah blah, like that. Did he talk to you? I remember I was there when we spoke to him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine? If you don't wake up, Jehovah's Witness, Mormon, you know, Muni, all kind of uh, uh, you know religious spirit to come. I misread. Even seven days advantage. Seven, seven days advantage. This this group. If you don't worship God on Saturday, you go to hell. You don't have a service on Saturday, and then do you need? Do you think you go to hell? No. <laughs> Terrible doctrine. Some seven days advantage. Uh, the leaders came to our church a few years ago. They asked me. You don't using your church hall on Saturday. Can you hide in the, your hall? And then we'll teach you. They speak to me like this. I told them, I'm going to teach you. And then uh, you need to repent your sins, come out from this uh, you know, long doctrine. Do you think it's, uh, you go to heaven and uh, because we have service on Sunday, you go to hell? Totally, totally long doctrine. I I I rebuke them. I correct them. They never come back again. <laughs> they are all kind of people, all kind. No, they protest every spirit, avoid every kind of evil. Yeah, avoid every kind of evil. In the last day. Yeah. Can can I ask something? How many te temptations surround you? When you wake up, do you think you can have some temptation? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Hundred thousand temptations surround you. Yeah? Through many things. Through internet, through television, even through your imagination, through so many temptations. Do you understand? Be careful. We need to wake up. We need to wake up. In Jesus' name. Avoid every kind of evil spirit. Avoid. Kicking out. Run away from you know, all kind of uh, darkness. You don't need to come near to them. Run away. Look. Verse 23. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Paul, he divided human being in three areas, spirit, soul, and body. In human area, human, human made by three areas, spirit, actually you have the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit that control your soul, in soul, uh, knowledge, emotion, and will, in soul. And uh, when Jesus said, deny yourself, deny yourself means deny your soul. Soul means this three, deny your knowledge, your emotion, your will, and your body. Can you enjoy the shalom in your spirit, in your soul, in your body? How many of you enjoy the shalom in your, in three areas? Yeah? Spiritually, in your soul, your life, even physically. To from last Sunday evening up to yesterday afternoon, oh, my body was uh, so, so difficult. You, you saw that. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. <laughs> Satan tried to remove the shalom from my body. I have to have the shalom for my body. You know, if you have some sickness, what does it mean? You lose your shalom from your body. Keep the shalom. And then look. In the last day, before second coming of Lord Jesus Christ, you must have a shalom for your spirit, your soul, and your body. In Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
The one who calls you is faithful. God is faithful. Jesus is faithful. And he will do it. Who will do it? Jesus will do it. He promised with you. If you holding the promise of God. Yeah? And he will do it. Brothers, pray for us. Pray for one another. Thank you, brother Daniel. Pray for my uh, throat day last night. You know, you come and pray for me. <laughs> you know, pray for each other. And this is the Lord that came and pray for me. And Lord's daughter Jeannie pray for me last night. Thanks, we have to pray for one another. Do you, do you understand? Then, then this mighty man of God, Paul, say, Brothers, pray for us. Pray for I need your prayer. Greet all the brothers with a holy kiss. Holy kiss is a is a very strange for Oriental people. <laughs> when my wife came to UK first time in 1996, when our our members, African brothers and all the people, hug one another and then for Koreans, uh, Korean woman hug is very very strange. She was uh, she was scary. African brother Hoku and <laughs> <laughs> and then I told her please don't be scary and then and then yes in the Middle East Middle East girls in the kiss here and how many times two times or depends on which country four times sometimes four times <laughs> we go to Lebanon we four go to Lebanon two times okay sometimes four times eh okay yeah. Some people, I mean, same people, they kiss for mouth to mouth or no? No, only, only cheek shake, eh? And then, I think it's a, holy kiss is a, for, not for some oriental. Some they do nose. Nose, yeah. 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 It's, it's a, it's you know, holy kiss, I think, for me, it's a hug, uh, it's no problem. I charge you before the Lord to have this letter lead all the brothers. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. This morning, just uh, I read the book of uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to 28. And then this is a letter from Apostle Paul. Not for the you know, Thessalonian Christian 2,000 years ago. This letter is still living and active and a powerful, powerful word of God for you and me. And then... Anybody remember one of the scripture? Many of them. But if you take one at least, good for you. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for your word. You made heaven and earth by your word. Also, we receive your word through the book of Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 16 to 28. Thank you for your word. Be joyful always. Pray continually. Give thanks all circumstances. And this is God's will for us in Christ Jesus. We love you, we pray your name. Jesus, help us. We thank you. We pray for the outreach in God's screen today. Many Jewish people hear the good news of Lord Jesus today. Would you save them, especially Jewish young boys and girls, the teenage boys and girls will hear the gospel today. Would you save them, bless them today. And then bless our the Israel Conference uh, this evening at 7 o'clock. Lord, bless the preacher, uh, Daryl Bob, and then Mitch Glazer. Would you bless them, give them anointing, and speak to us tonight. And uh, we will understand end time through this message and uh, this evening meeting, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.